Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So it seems as though Nicki Minaj is getting used again to push certain people's narrative. So somebody sent me a tweet of Donald Trump Jr. Basically saying that, oh, Nicki Minaj was right. Because now people are noticing that there are some side effects to the Vox, okay? And so people are going back to what Nicki Minaj said a few months ago, which she could have been right about, okay? You know, she had a point. But at the end of the day, I feel like the Republicans are using Nicki Minaj to push their narrative. They don't really care about Nicki Minaj like that. They were streaming her music for like a week, and then they went ghost. After that whole Vox comment, the boys record happened. They didn't support that. The boys record low-key flopped in the U.S. It did okay in the U.K. But let's be honest. They just using Nicki Minaj to push, you know, their narrative. Because why didn't they support her music after the fact? Okay. Now, of course, there was the controversy with, uh, you know, black fishing and everything. But most, you know, Caucasian people don't really care about that. Because, you know, they're usually the one black fishing. Okay. So with that being said, I feel like um, the Republicans need to leave Nicki Minaj out their mouth. Stop bringing her into stuff. And then on top of that, because of the whole Vox comment, she got shadow banned on Instagram. Okay, I don't know if she's still shadow banned, but I believe she is. So with that being said, it really did not benefit Nicki Minaj, and I think she needs to stay out of it. And people always try to insert Nicki Minaj into their drama. I never understand why. Um, you know, Cuban Dog did it. Tasha K is doing it. Um, and now Donald Trump Jr. did it. Moving on to Chloe and Gunna. Are Chloe and Gunna the next power couple? Okay, because it's looking like the industry is definitely trying to push them. I don't know if the industry is going to be successful. Okay, because, you know, Chloe. Have Mercy is still not that great of a record, but she did get a nomination at the Image Awards, okay? And I noticed Summer Walker wasn't nominated for Outstanding Female Artists. Summer Walker had a very good 2021. Didn't she have the highest selling R&B album? Okay, Normani wasn't nominated either. Okay, so it makes you think they really pushing Chloe and then gonna outselling the weekend makes no logical sense when the weekend had more sales, but they changed the billboard rules and the weekend does better in streaming than gonna and gonna still outbeat him for the top spot for the number one selling album of the week. So they're definitely pushing Chloe and gonna. As the next Walmart Yonce and Walmart Camel Face. Okay? Now, some people were saying on my station head a few days ago that they believe that Gun is supposed to replace Future. I mean, the last time they tried that with Designer, it didn't really work. Okay? Remember Designer? He had that one hit record and then it flopped. But... Gonna got a little bit more hits than designers, so it possibly could work with them. Um, so we just gotta wait and see because it seems as though the industry is definitely trying to um push Chloe and uh Gunna. Have Mercy is surviving by radio, basically. Okay, um, radio is keeping that record afloat on the charts. I think is at number 70. Moving on to Haley or Holly. Um, she was getting backlash on social media yesterday because she decided to do a cover to the his and hers challenge that's been going around on TikTok. Okay, the song is fire, okay, by this new artist. 
Her name is Mooney Long, okay? And I guess she used to write for artists like K. Michelle. She said K. Michelle stole her record. But anyway, so Holly does the same um cover on TikTok and people were dragging her because it really didn't sound that great, okay? Now she says she was singing it an octave higher because she's a soprano, okay? But that doesn't mean it sounds good. If you cannot sing an octave lower, Holly, then don't sing the record. That's not really an excuse because at the end of the day, it still didn't sound that great. I mean, it should at least sound decent. You don't have to do it exactly like the original artist, but it sounded a hot mess. I'm not going to lie. And I like Holly, Haley, whatever her name is. But at the end of the day, I mean, you should have known better. Okay, if you cannot sing an octave lower, then don't sing at all. Okay, um, because you can't really give the excuse all oh, that you're a soprano because you don't see other artists doing that. Moving on to Drizzy Drake and Ariana. I'm hearing that Ariana wants to put out that record with Drake, the record that was supposed to be on Certified Lover Boy, but Drake had other plans because he's just super grimy, in my opinion. I mean, a lot of those songs he could have kept in the stash for Certified Lover Boy and done some, you know, features that a lot of people wanted. But of course, Drake decided to put out his 10th collaboration he has with Young Thug and Future. And then also, according to academics, um, Drake is not too happy that Certified Lover Boy did not have a God's plan. Or one dance. So he might be putting out some music this year. But here's the thing. He had the opportunity to have a God's plan or a one dance on Certified Lover Boy. But Drake is lazy. That's the problem with Drake. He's lazy because he's the number one streaming artist right now. So he don't feel like he got to put in the work. But once he start flopping... That's when he'll start really showcasing his talent again. Okay, so maybe that Ariana feature would help him. Hopefully the record comes out. But if it don't come out this year, I don't want it. Okay, you can keep that in the stash. And matter of fact, Drake, go on hiatus until 2025. If you're not going to put in the work, if you're not going to showcase your talent, what's the point? You really don't deserve your spot. And that's why I cannot wait for Kung Fu Kenny to come back and showcase some real talent because it's been very lackluster, especially with Drake, in the last couple years. Ariana always brings it. I didn't really like her last album like that, but she's very talented. And she's not lazy, but Drake is. So let me know if you still care about the Drake and Ariana collaboration. Um, Moving on to... The queen of makeup. I've been hearing that she got three collaborations with three female rappers. Now, one collaboration may not be with music, but two are. So we just got to wait to see. Um, If Rihanna doesn't put out the album in 2022, she can keep it also. I'm tired of the games. I'm tired of hearing soon, soon. I always will love music. I never will retire. You've been retired for six years. Stop with the excuses. If she does not put out the album in 2022, I will not care. Okay? Because too much time has passed. You're not Sade. Okay? Don't try to put out an album 10 years later. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And have an amazing day.